Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about scenes in frame. So what are scenes? Basically anytime you bring an asset into frame, you're bringing it into a certain scene. And you can see what scene you're on uh, down here at the bottom center, so scene one of three. So that's letting me know that I've already made three scenes. I've brought in this image here and I was on scene one when I brought it in. So it shows up when I'm on scene one. Now you'll see when I move to scene two, the image disappears and instead we have this dinosaur. That's because I brought this dinosaur in, I imported it when I was on scene two. So if I bring in an asset now, say I'll bring in um, this image here, it shows up, but then you'll notice as soon as I move back to scene one, it disappears. Now, if you want the asset to appear on multiple scenes, click on an asset in edit mode with edit mode turned on and you'll see it's got a scenes drop down. And here you can pick all the scenes you want it to appear on. So if I want it to appear on scene one and two, just select it. And now when you move to scene one, it will be here. And scene two, it's still here. And then scene three, it goes away. Now I went to scene three and you'll notice I've got a sphere already expanded. So if you expand a photo sphere, when you're on a scene, it will automatically be expanded when you move to that scene. So I'm on scene three, I'm gonna expand this sphere. I'm gonna go back to scene two, and now back to scene three, and you can see the sphere is already expanded. Now, in terms of creating new scenes and things like that, you can use our scenes menu. If you click this arrow down here at the bottom center, or in the sidebar, there's a scenes menu button, you will see the scenes menu. Now, um, this is a way for you to navigate between your scenes. You can create new scenes with the green plus button. You can delete your scenes. You can give your scenes a title and you can update your scenes thumbnail. So if you look at my scene one thumbnail, it looks a little bit out of date. You can update it with the camera icon. So I'm gonna to click to update it and then you'll see it will update the thumbnail so that you have a better sense of what's in that scene. I'm gonna give it a title, scene one, and you can also drag and drop to reorder them. So I wanna drag it below scene two and now it has turned into scene two, and I'll rename it accordingly. So there you have it, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, you create new scenes here with the plus button. Um, you can also navigate your scenes down here or in VR mode using your uh, the pie menu in VR. And uh, that's just about it. When you change scenes, it'll change scenes for everyone. So this is a way that you can really give kind of a spatial, uh, sort of presentation to an audience, right? You set up your content in your different scenes, all different kinds of content all around the environment, and then you navigate through scenes as you uh, tell your story about whatever it is that you're talking about. Okay, there you have it, and good luck with scenes.